Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your voice memo app if it's not working or recording on your iPhone. So let's get started. So the voice memo app is a default utilities app that comes pre-installed with your iPhone and you can go into utilities folder by default. It should be right there and you should be able to click on it and it should start recording. Those signs indicate that it's recording sound. You can click that stop and you can play delete whatever it is but sometimes the app might not be working or you can't click that record button and there's multiple reasons why it's not working so the very first thing to do if you have it open and you can't record or it's not working or frozen all you do is simply slide up here and we're gonna slide it up to close out the app and it may be simple as that and you reopen the app and voila it's working again now let's say it's not working the next thing to do is force restarting your iPhone and to do a force restart all you're gonna do is Click on volume up and then volume down one after another really quick. And then on the right hand side, you're going to hold this big side button until the screen goes black and the Apple logo reappears. So in real time, volume up, the volume down, and then I hold that side button just like that. And I'm not going to slide to power it off. I'm just going to wait till the screen forces itself to go completely black and the Apple logo reappears. And when it does reappear, I'm going to let go of that side button. And just like that, and what this is doing is simply reloading the code of the phone, the software of the phone. So if there is a software issue impacting functionality, it will resolve those issue for you. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. It's really simple to do. And once in a while, doing a force restart definitely helps the phone regain the performance and fix any minor software related issue and hopefully by now vo voice memo is working now let's say it's still not working the next thing you want to check is your phone storage so when you record voice recording it requires storage to save the voice recording but if you go into your settings and go to general and then look at iphone storage here what you want to notice here is how much storage your phone has so this one is 128 gig and i used up around almost close to 22 gigs. So let's say if you're using up all of that storage, let's say out of 128 gig, out of 128 gig, I don't have any more storage locally on the phone. I won't be able to record it. In that case, I need to start deleting some things, which you can look at the list here and some of the recommendation that the phone makes itself so simply start deleting like if you have videos usually large videos take up a lot of space any apps that you don't use you can delete by simply clicking on it and you can just click on delete app just like that and that should give you some clear of some space for you and that will allow you the phone to do voice recording now let's say you have done that and you're still having the issue the next thing you also want to check out in your settings here is click on your apple id here and click on iCloud and if you would like this is a pro tip if you're using iCloud storage go and show all here and for voice memo here there is the option to save it to iCloud as well which if you're not doing it I recommend doing that you want to select that option and enable it just like that so you can get your voice recording on your iCloud account and save it just like that so that's up to you if you want to do that now after you have done that the next thing you want to check out on your phone is in the settings here this time in the settings, we're going to go to our battery option and then under uh, this battery option, we want to ensure that low power mode is turned off. When the phone is on low power mode, usually it consumes up less less of the power and some of the functionalities are limited during that low power mode. Usually you turn it on when the phone is under 20% of charge. You want to turn that off so that it could use the power it requires to do voice recording. Along with that, you want to also check out in your settings around app back background app refresh for some reason uh, sometimes the background app refresh needs to be turned on either Wi-Fi or cellular data for the voice memo here by default you want to turn most of these off to say battery but you want to ensure that for voice memo it is turned on and it seems to be a fix that some users have reported that fixed their voice memo from not working to working now after you have done that and still not working the next thing you can do is Go ahead and check if there's an update out for voice memo in the app store so go to open up app store and then you're going to want to do search up is voice memo so we're going to search up voice memo and voice memo is a default app from apple so you want to click on that utilities one that says from apple and if there's an update it will say update and click on that to update it the other thing you also can do if it's really not working whatsoever can't open it or anything like that you can actually delete the app itself but if you do delete it remember 
Uh, most of the recordings that you have, if you're not backed up to iCloud, it might get uh, deleted. So ensure that if you do the delete this app to reinstall it again, keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and click on remove delete app and it's going to delete it from the phone here and then to re-download it all you have to do is go to the app store click on search here and search for a voice memo like we did and then click on that cloud icon or download icon and make sure it's the one from Apple so that's the default one there's a bunch of other third-party ones but we want it from Apple here and then all the way down here we should see the app library reinstalled we can add it to our home screen and voice recordings and memo should work for you as you can see here if you backed up to iCloud it will reload reload those on your page just like that now if you try those and it's still not working the next thing to do is go to your settings of your phone and this time we're gonna go to general and all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone we're gonna go ahead and click on reset and then we're gonna do all reset uh, settings so this will reset all the settings not the data like photos videos apps anything like that none of that will be deleted it will reset things like your network settings so if you had saved Wi-Fi passwords things like VPN setting Bluetooth connected devices will get reset you need to reconnect all those keyboard dictionary anything that you added to the dictionary home screen layout will get reset and any settings around your location privacy will get reset again none of your personal data will be deleted but keep in mind this is something you need to do as a, one of the last resort if you simply cannot get voice memos to work now after you have done that it's still not working it's time to check that your phone is up to date with the latest software version so that if a previous software version is impacting your device from not working this will resolve that in order to do that again we're going to be in the settings go to general software update and it's going to check to see if there's an update out and if it is it will show up here and where you can download and install here ignore this beta one that we have but generally if you have an update right now at the time of recording uh, it should be iOS 16.5 you'll click on download and install make sure that you're connected to good Wi-Fi and your phone is at least 50% or more and lastly if you are able to get voice memo to open and when you record, let's say, um, there's voice memo here, right? Let's say you record it, but there's no sound. Most likely, there's an issue with your mic. And that's another video which we'll talk about how to fix your microphone if it's not working on recording on your iPhone. We're going to leave the link for that video in the description section or the comment section. So check that video out for how to troubleshoot your mic not working. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please make that like and subscribe, buddy. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.